Hey YouTuber fans, Steaming fans, cryptocurrency fans, it's your boy Brit VR. Welcome to the show. I'm here with another YouTuber. His name is Justin. And yeah. what is the name of your YouTube channel? I do it under Coin Pulse Exchange. Okay, so this is how we're gonna work this out. I don't wanna get this all messed up over here, guys. But I'm just gonna hand this over to you, okay? Now if you drop it, you just drop it. Just don't do it. <laughs> just, don't do just, it. Don't do it. just don't do it, okay? Right. So um we're here at the Voice of Blockchain. Uh, this place is pretty sick. Okay, we got cameras here and cameras over here, so I gotta remember to look over here, guys, okay? <laughs> this is like CNN, okay? So, <laughs> um, we're just gonna have a basic discussion about cryptocurrencies. And our discussion, we started it off already, okay? Our discussion was about what is the CBOE going to do with this 24-hour market and cryptocurrency so you know as we all know the stock exchange open from i think nine to five is that correct eastern time eastern time five to nine and with so much money on the market if people buy into the etf um how they're going to handle that you know i was saying they're going to have to get more traders they probably have tons of traders for different markets um is there Anything you're thinking about that uh, may tremble them overall? When you trade on the stock exchange, uh, it's not a 24-hour deal. No. So you know you can uh, you can set an alarm, and you got to sometimes wake up when the guys in China are trading, and you got to wake up when the uh, the guys in Europe are trading. And then obviously here in the states, you know we, we trade when uh, when the guys here in the states are trading. Uh, but the crypto market, man, that's 24 hours. Man, either you're gonna never sleep or you're going to have to find some people to help you out. And so that's going to bring up the cost for some of these guys that are doing their trading, right? Right. I mean, you're going to have to employ people to help you make your money. It's, it's a 24-hour game. So another thing we were talking about, everybody, is uh, Asia really holds most of the cryptocurrencies. And the big boys are in Asia. They're not in the United States. So they really, I, I don't know if they can manipulate the market. The only way they're gonna have to, only way they can manipulate the market is through spending trillions of dollars. <laughs> well, I hope those trillions of dollars come to the, to the market, man. You know, we were so close, yeah. so close. And, uh, and I hope, you know, by, I'm hoping by 2020, sooner would be better but I think more by 2020 man we are hopefully gonna be a multi-trillion dollar industry the market I, I, I hope that I hope that um, that would be great for me and you that who are early guys investors um, but how do you feel about the retail investor that's somebody smaller um, the price is already up, so I guess, you know, I can say the retail investors, you know, somebody who's smaller, you, you already messed up, okay? <laughs> You're already messed up. Maybe, uh, do you think if the ETF fall through and that trillions of dollars come in, how, how, how's that going to affect the altcoins? I think that once the, the ETFs pass, if and when they do pass, um, it will bring a lot of institutional money. It'll bring the big boys in. And when the big boys come in, they're going to bring big stacks of money. And they're going to jack up prices. And so the only thing that I think that's good about all of this is that you can buy fractions of altcoins. You can buy fractions. So it's not like, you know, a couple years ago when we could afford to buy yeah. multiple Bitcoin, which was really nice, which it's not the same anymore. Uh, but it's it's going to get worse, and for the uh, and for the retail investor, what they're going to need to do is be really wise in what they're getting into. They're going to have to do all of their own research, obviously. But at the same time, what they're really going to want to focus on is what are the projects that are going to be around, because we all know right now there are some altcoins in the market that might not survive. So make sure that they do their research to pick the ones that will be around, because that's that's going to protect their investments. That is very true. Um, I was just thinking about something. What I was thinking about, I think the only way the retail investors are going to be able to get in once the big guys get in is maybe through their 401ks. You're going to have to dip into it. They may, well, 
not dip into it, but you know, they will have portfolios with the Bitcoin in the portfolio. Yeah. Uh, I haven't really seen any of those happen because these big time investors, you know, Bitcoin is unregulated in the United States right now. So, ha, hold on, question, question. So, have you ever had somebody on Instagram come up and say, hey, I'm a hedge fund guy. Once you let me trade your Bitcoin? And do you know what I say to those guys? First of all, it's unregulated in the United States. And if I send it to you, and you don't have to be liable to send it back to me. Yeah. <laughs> So that is the, the, the biggest problem right now. And once those, uh, what do you call them, warehouses? Uh, like the big, uh, uh, go ahead. Well, you call those warehouses where you have uh, these institutional investors have Bitcoin sitting for investors to come in and buy them and they store for them. Uh, once we get that going on, you know, the sky is the limit and those portfolios are just going to be like, hey, you put 70% into stocks, 30% into Bitcoin. And I think that's how the retail investors are going to get in. So, okay. I like that. Do you think that that is the, uh, that's the magical equation? 70% in the stock market, 30 in crypto? Because me personally, yeah. I, used to, I used to trade stocks. Uh, and then a couple years ago when I got into crypto, I completely left the stock market behind completely I I still have all my accounts I'm still you know holding on to you know what I'm whatever I'm holding on to in my portfolio in the stock market but I can tell you it's probably even though we're going through one of the worst bear markets that I've you know I've, I've participated in I honestly I don't even check my stock portfolio anymore I'm one of those idiots that's there on block folio like you know checking it come on man like when's it gonna happen um, you know I, I think that 70 30 that may be that may be a good number for some people as you start to get into it as we start to get some more mass adoption but for me personally i'm a big fan of 50 50 maybe and maybe even you know 60 40 60 percent crypto 40 percent stocks i mean i know stocks are they're less volatile right now than the crypto market is but i don't know if that's the way it's going to be forever You're 100% correct. <laughs> now, usually, well, I'm, I am not a financial advisor. You guys got that? Do your own research. Do your own research. Do your own research. But I know that's what those guys are going to tell the people to do. I, pretty much with me, it's mostly crypto than anything. Um, but it's going to take time for those investors to slowly put their money into crypto. It's probably going to be 90-10 at the beginning. Because it's safe. And it, it'll be the safest play. And with the stock market, we are in like the highest it has ever been currently right the now. Longest the longest. The longest. In the history Thre of the stock market. 3,000 some days. Since like, yeah, since like a long time ago. You know, so you, you can't just, I believe uh, people are going to start pulling from the profits because it's it's been by... Wall Street had multiple, uh, hold on, my phone is ringing, guys. Wall Street had multiple big hedge fund investors talking about the stock market is going to crash. And CNBC had multiple people talking about, you know, the stock market is looking like it's going to crash because you buy low and you sell high. And it's time to take profits. Also, with the, um, the Federal Reserve, they're trying to hike these rakes. I think they're talking about what three more interest rates. Like yes, a year? yes, and you know, this is a cycle, guys. And you guys got to remember this. I, I don't know if you believe this, but I, I believe this. You know, the Federal Reserve is a privately owned bank in the United States. They don't work for the government. Okay, they 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 don't work for them, but they work with them. But this is a time to uh, take that inflation down because they've been giving out so much free money. For the past, what is that? Eight years? Yeah, it's like eight years of just yeah, somewhere between seven. To yeah, seven. It's it's just so much. So it's time to bring back the money in, so the dollar won't have too much of a problem because we have so much debt. 
I, you know, the one thing the one thing that really scares me is inflation. Because right now you're hearing the things like you know you got Venezuela, yes. you got other countries like Turkey. You know where you know the inflation is just so crazy. I was reading an article. It had something to do with Dash where. Uh, the amount of signups with uh, merchants for Dash, for mo uh, wallet downloads for Dash, um, are just so high right now because the inflation, they're pegging it at a million percent. A million percent in for inflation. I mean, if you're, not, if, if you're not protected into the crypto market, if you're just 100% fiat, that's game over for you. That's not a position I want to be in. It's not a position at all, especially with Greece. Uh, the ATMs have just the number of ATMs has spiked over just just crazily, and then you know, imagine if you go to your bank and they tell you you can only take out a certain amount of money that you put in there. Now, when you put your a lot of people don't know this, when you put your money in the bank, by law the bank owns it. A lot of people don't know that, and it's when that's, when you sign that contract and you write, you sign your signature. Most people need to go check that. And the only reason they give you your money back because they want to make more money. Because they're profiting off of it. <laughs> they're, you, they're profiting off of your money. <laughs> Very true. If you go to, if, I'm sorry, I don't want to be like uh, Alex Jones or anybody like that, okay? <laughs> All right? But this is true. Don't hate. Don't, you know, if you, if you look at how much the banks are holding between the money that's been put in, they're all holding maybe like at most five percent of the money. So I I think JP Morgan holds like three trillion dollars and like fifteen trillion dollars is what was put in the bank. So if we all go to the bank right now, there's a not there's not enough money for us to get, you know, to pull out. And that's how the financial market has been working since I think what I think is that like 16th hundreds when the banks start rolling in. So I'm sorry, I just get all off. So is there anything else you want to talk about, man? Uh, I mean, you know, when, when we're talking about banking, yeah. you know, when we're talking about interest rates, when we're talking about all this stuff, I just hope that everybody, that the mass adoption comes sooner than later. Let's take our profits back. Let's take our money back. And I don't want, like again, I don't want to talk like Alex Jones, and I don't, I don't want anybody to hate me. And uh, but I think that you know it's it's time to wake up as people, and let's just take back what's ours. You know, as far as like, I don't know if you own your home, if you own a home, or if you've bought a home, but you don't own it. Can I, can I say something? Yes, I I, I I I bought a home, but I don't own it. The bank own it. I pay mortgages, and if something messes up, I have to pay for it. Yeah, that's, it's just not fair. <laughs> so we're going to end it off right there. That was a great little uh, end of a speech. So, um, Justin, yep. what is your uh, cryptocurrency? Sorry, what is your YouTuber uh, channel again? So the YouTube channel is CoinPulse. Uh, we are an exchange. You can find us on Telegram uh, or CoinPulse.io. You can get the link there. You can also find me on Twitter. Uh, my at sign is Colonel Custard, but my uh, my username is J Chains. And I'm okay. Looking at the camera, I'm Brit VR. You can find me on YouTube as Brit VR. Uh, you, uh, I think on Twitter as Brit VR and Instagram, uh, Brit VR Crypto underscore Crypto. So, thank you. Absolutely, man. All right. Thank you. And remember, do your own research. Do your own research.